In today's video, we take a look at the Aegis Duffel from Boundary Supply, a brilliant duffel that supports three-way carry and is made for the weekend or the gym. I'm Ed from Rush Faster and we do guides and walkthroughs bringing you better gear and better ways to carry, so if any of that sounds good to you and you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Let's dive right in and check out the Aegis Duffel from Boundary Supply. If you want to check out the product page for this duffel for specs or details as you follow along in this video, there's going to be a link in the description below as well as a QR code on the screen for you to scan on your phone camera. Also in the description below is a link to subscribe to our Rush Faster Carry Roundup newsletter where we talk about news in the carry world and where we also give away some carry gear to one of our subscribers. If you want to enter your chance to win, all you need to do is be a subscriber of the newsletter and a subscriber of the channel. In terms of the external fabric of the Aegis duffel, we have a 500 denier nylon Kodra with Boundary's Barricade DWR finish. In certain points of the bag and also on the base of the bag, we have a 420 denier high tenacity Hyperlon. And all the zippers on the bag are YKK zippers. Let's take a look at some of the external features first. So I mentioned that this is a three-way carry bag. So obviously we have the haul handles at the top here. We have this nice seat belt webbing nylon for these haul handles. So they're very easy to use. We've also got the option to carry the bag like a backpack. So we have backpack straps stowed away here. These backpack straps have a nice air mesh foam padding here. So it'll be quite comfortable. Got simple Wujin ladder locks here and then some strap management for that strap slack. And then we've also got some Duraflex C-clips so that you can hook onto these little webbing loops on the bottom here. So once you've got those hooked in, you can carry this duffel like a backpack, but a really smart and intuitive design element that Boundary have implemented here is the ability to stow away these haul handles. See, when you have the backpack straps deployed like this and you wanna feed through your arm to grab the backpack straps, you might accidentally feed your arm through the haul handles which can make for a pretty unpleasant experience so you can actually stow away these haul handles underneath this flap here and they magnetically shut down with these studs inbuilt into the fabric same goes for the other side so when they're tucked away you have a seamless experience to use this duffel as a backpack instead of getting worried about all these other straps that could get caught along the way. That's really helpful. Now, if you don't see yourself using the backpack straps at all and weight is a problem, then you can actually remove these backpack straps completely by unclipping the C-clips here. Now, this bag also supports the use of a shoulder strap for you to carry the bag on your shoulder or even across the body. There are loops on the corners of the bag for you to loop this shoulder strap to. So you have multiple areas in which you can hook on this strap. Again, it's a simple strap. It's got some simple ladder lock systems and some seat clips. So you just hook those in and you have the option to carry it as a shoulder bag. Taking a look to, at the front of the bag, we have this nice Hyperlon panel here. It has the very subtle boundary logo there, the Apex boundary logo. And then here we have a zippered compartment here. These zippers have these laser cut Hyperlon zipper pulls. And in here we have a compartment to store some more gear. So you can see that there is these two slip pockets. This is a performance stretch mesh from Boundary. Here I have my Bellroy note sleeve wallet. I've got some Bluetooth wireless earphones. I've also got a rechargeable torch from Olight. This is the Baton 3 and it also includes this wireless charger. It simply charges by putting it inside the case. It's a nice little portable flashlight that is wirelessly charged. It has a max 1200 lumens. The battery life lasts about 20 days. And with a fully charged wireless case, it can last 94 days. If you're interested in getting the Olight Baton 3, there's gonna be a link in the description below, as well as a coupon code for you to use with it. Also in this little compartment is a little Fidlock stud that you can use with the separately sold Boundary HT key clip. It's a nice way for you to clip on your keys for security, but also take them off very quickly when you need them. On the other side of the bag, we have these compression straps here, um, which you can feed through any gear that you want to lash on externally on the bag. We have these nice metallic G hooks with a little bit of boundary branding just at the bottom there. Nice strap management. And the great thing about these accessory straps is that you can unhook them and use them on the base of the duffel instead. 
So if it's better for your carry to lash on stuff on the base of the bag, you can simply pull them across and hook them into these loops which are on the other side of the bag. Maybe if you had a skateboard or bigger gear, you could put it through this way. On this side, we also have a button stud here, which you can unclasp and you can store gear inside there. Although I wouldn't recommend storing any loose items, things that could fall out because this is not a zippered compartment. So say for instance, if you're carrying a backpack style, some of that stuff might fall out. So be mindful of what you're putting inside this compartment. But the great benefit of this compartment is that you can unzip it from the bottom and you can use this as a luggage pass-through. On both sides of the bag, we have these compression straps that really allow you to compress the gear inside the duffel down. And they're really helpful because of these magnetic fid locks here. So to undo them, all you need to do is pull on this little toggle and that unclasps the magnetic fid locks of the compression straps. And just so you can tuck away some of that strap slack, you can feed it through this little loop here. Now if we go to the other side of the duffel, we undo this compression strap here. We can see that there is a zippered compartment on this side. And if we undo that, we have a nice wet dry compartment. This compartment is really good for separating your gear. So say for instance, you've gone to the gym, you've got dirty gear, dirty towels. You can just put them inside this compartment. Or if you just have some shoes that you want to separate from the rest of your clothing, you can do that as well. Any wet swimwear that hasn't dried yet, anything, you can just store it in here and it'll be nicely separated from the rest of your gear. We also have some loft EVA foam at the bottom here, which also serves to provide ventilation for this compartment. So any smells can actually ventilate through this little mesh area here. So taking a look at the main compartment now, this zipper here is a nice chunky number 10 YKK zipper. And you can see that there is a PU coating on the zipper path there that just provides more water resistance to the main compartment. Now when you open up the main compartment, you want to release the compression on those compression straps there so you can have more visibility. If they're really tight, that'll limit the visibility that you have inside this main compartment. Inside I just have my Western Rise Airloft shirt jacket that's really nice comfortable and warm and then inside is a big empty space which I have just put in a whole bunch of different pouches there is actually no further organization inside this compartment hopefully you can see on this side here we have some clips here some fidlock clips for you to attach boundary supplies port kit so if you want to do that and you're part of the boundary ecosystem you could plug in your port kit there but here I just have a Bellroy tech kit I have the new Bellroy Dop Kit Plus, and then in here I've got a number of different clothes inside this little boundary supply hemp pouch, and then I've got some camera gear inside this boundary supply camera cube. But as I mentioned, it's just a big empty space. Over here, we actually have a little fidlock compression strap for that separate wet dry compartment. So if you actually have gear in there, it'll take up a bit of this space, that's the inner fabric of that compartment. But when it's not in use, you can simply fold that up, tuck it away, and then clip it up. And it's kind of nice out of the way, really thoughtful way of tidying up that compartment. So as mentioned, there are a number of ways that you can carry the Aegis Duffel. This is hall handle carry. And this is simple backpack style carry. For your reference, I'm 5'10". And you've always got over the shoulder carry as well. Well everyone, there you have it, the Boundary Supply Aegis Duffel. It has a solid 32 litre volume capacity. All the carry options are really well thought out and it has a really helpful wet dry compartment and it comes packaged in the high quality blue sign materials and hardware that we come to expect from Boundary Supply. If you're interested in getting this bag, there's going to be an affiliate link in the description below, as well as a QR code on the screen for you to scan with your phone camera. If you use any of those affiliate links, they really do help support the work of this channel. And even if you're not thinking about getting this bag, but you still wanna support us, you can hit the like button, you can hit the bell, and you can let us know your thoughts about this bag in the comments below. And as always, you can subscribe to see more carry gear walkthroughs if you haven't already. You can also subscribe to our Rush Fast at Carry Roundup newsletter, where we talk about news in the carry world, and where we give away some carry gear to our subscribers. 
all you need to do is be subscribed to the channel and also subscribe to the newsletter to enter your chance to win. And if you'd like to see more videos from us or more videos on boundary supply, then check out some of the links on the screen at the end of this video. But for now, this has been the Boundary Supply Aegis Duffel. Take care and we'll see you next time.